Hello everybody, welcome to the new patch notes 63.3, my uh, take on it. We've got a Dr. Acula bundle. Uh, I've actually seen this art before, so I kind of guessed it was coming, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? You've, there's some emotes and, you know, better art. There you go. Um, and then we've got Sad Drak. Yeah, they've changed Sad Drak. Um, rather than your, all of your front row characters having Slay plus one, now only your first character has Slay plus three plus one permanently. So, like, it's interesting, you know, it's like going to be... It's going to be like building a show shot or whatever. Um, that's going to be your main thing. It's it's changed. I mean, you're not going to see 300, 300 Shadow Assassins anymore. People will be like building a show shot and then obviously the Shadow Assassin will take over, I guess. Um, and it's, yeah, so it's ch changed it a lot, actually. It's it's actually changed it a lot. I think it's not going to... Uh, the, yeah, the, the, the as they say, they'll be able to rebalance Slayer so the cards will be better. Because that, that's the thing. If you, if you made Slayer too good, it makes Sad Drak broken, doesn't it? Whereas now, um, they can make the other Slayer cards better. So they have done. They've made Vain Pyre a 4-4 instead of a 3-4. Still with Slayer plus 1 plus 1 permanently. So that's a big buff for Vain Pyre. Very good. Um... Pretty impactful, yep. Good news for Skip as well. Uh, Shadow Assassin's gone from a 1 1 to a 2 1, um, which is fine because it is, I mean, it's really ropey as a 1 1, isn't it? Until it gets going, and now 2 1, it lets it get going a bit better and stuff, so that's pretty good. Uh, Brave Princess has been made a little bit better, one point of power, um, helps her complete a quest quicker, which is already you can only buy it on 3.0 anyway like you know it's it's so it's really hard to complete the quest you know it, almost not worth buying it on three one so if you, if you get if you don't get this in your initial shop as soon as you turn level three you're probably not you've probably got no chance of completing it but now it might might have a bit more chance to it or might just be a bit more of a trap for people um so yeah chupacabra is actually great now isn't he this is pretty great um he was plus plus one plus two wasn't he originally uh, for his slay ability. Then they changed it to plus one, plus one for the characters behind him. And now it's plus one, plus one to himself and the characters behind him. So it's like plus three, plus three worth of stats and includes scaling himself. Um, so it's really, I mean, that that's really a lot better now, Chupacabra. Um, that's, 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 really, that's a really big buff for him, actually. And this is the biggest change of, of all, by far, is Cutting Adventurer. Um, so basically they're just cutting and and then working out what to do with her. So it's like, like this is a massive, massive, massive change, right? Because it just makes like dwarves load stronger because people can't get to skip to six. So people have to play the mid game. So it does make dwarves way, way stronger. And it, it like totally changes a lot of the strats of like getting to six super early. And it's, it's it, I mean, I think it's a good change. Because it stops like the ludicrous high rolls that somebody was going to get, um, and obviously it was great when it was you, but it <laughs> it was kind of bad for the game, I guess, that some people would get it, and now everyone has to play the mid game. Uh, so yeah, very interesting. They've made group games nicer. They and one was in one of the devs was in my stream the other day, and they said very soon they're going to have. Um, spectating in groups which will be great I've been playing mostly groups now uh, like you know just with chat and stuff with viewers it's been very fun I uh, haven't played a lot of ladder but uh, yeah so that's going to be great if you can like when that I mean this isn't this isn't it but groups are great and it's going to be great when you can spectate which is soon but it's not this this is just making it look nicer um, then there's some bug fixes which was one was a huge one I'm glad this didn't happen to me but, oh, well, it might, maybe it did. Conceding after winner a lobby doesn't double the ranked points. Imagine that. I, I never knew that was a thing. Um, but, yeah, just some just some bug fixes that aren't really that important. But, yeah, it's a huge thing. Adventure of Gone is massive. Totally changes the game. Like, basically, you have to relearn how to play now. Uh, absolutely massive, massive news. And the rest, that's nice, I think. That's nice. So they're all quite nice changes, aren't they? Loads of them getting plus one power. and uh, But this one, lo multiple plus one, plus one permanently. Yeah, I've never played the mid-game, exactly, right? It was best to skip the mid-game before. I've played it. If Ella plays it, doesn't she, with like, uh, you know, like you do play the mid-game with a godmother. Um, 
hippo, uh, you know, vulture, things like that, dwarves. Uh, but now, of course, the mid-game goes on a lot longer. There's no, there's no powering through with uh, adventurer and uh, grim souls and stuff. So yeah, huge, huge, huge change, and it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, especially in the tournament that's coming up. So there you go. Glorious. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.